Good afternoon, Mark here again. We're back from this test drive on the 68, and before we button it up, I wanted to bleed the brakes just one more time, but uh, also give a tour of some of the work that was done and come across with a few part numbers, okay? So I'm gonna turn the camera around, and let's see if we can get this good look at. All right, so we replaced the master cylinder and all the brake lines. Uh, we like the way this turned out, those little tubes. I could have probably spun them the other way, but we'll do that another time. Also on this uh, proportioning valve, we did bend this bracket back. It was normally out like this. So we heated up that bracket and we bent it back. Then you got your uh, residual pressure valves and we also ran these over here and put a little bit of insulating material on these brake lines because they do come a little bit close to the the heater hoses. <clears throat> Shouldn't be too big of an issue, but we didn't want to take a chance. So the one thing that we did add that Mike doesn't know about yet is this power booster. And I think he's suspecting something because he saw me working on the engine and I was holding up a little fitting on one of those time-lapse videos. I'm kind of surprised he was able to see that. He freeze-framed it and asked me what it was, but I just basically shined him on <laughs> because that's a surprise. I'm going to try to capture a video of him driving it for the first time, but basically this is the uh, how he mounted this power booster underneath here. Let me go and get a view from the front right there. So we can still unbolt that and drop that out if there's ever a need for servicing. But you've got this one vacuum line going in. That's the supply. And then this is the vent. So this is just a hose that goes up and I've got a small filter on the end of that. I just want to be able to uh, have uh, fresh air, something that's not close to the the uh, the bottom of the car here, the dust and the rest of that stuff. So basically, uh, vacuum in, and this is the pressure relief. Uh, hydraulic line in from the master cylinder, hydraulic line out, and that's the one that goes out and splits to left front, right front. So with this power booster, we're only providing a power assist to the front disc brakes. And we did replace, like we said, all these brake lines. And of course, new uh, caliper, rotor, reuse the hubs, put in new studs, a little longer uh, studs, and new brake line, uh, rubber flexible brake lines. Still have to restrain that. It'd be nice to have that a little bit farther away trying a different routing. Normally we'd go around the shock, but this seems to be okay. Took the opportunity to paint all these parts. I wish I would have uh, been a lot quicker with the spray water bottle when I was bleeding these brakes because some of the hydraulic fluid, some of the brake fluid uh, leaked down and uh, created a few streaks. If I'd have hit that with a squirt bottle real fast, it wouldn't have uh, affected the paint so much. We did do uh, kingpins, or we had them done by Hewitt Alignment. And then we took the opportunity to paint that front axle and the rest of the stuff. Didn't do the uh, springs, but we did the uh, new U-bolts and nuts and took an opportunity to paint some of these offset to kind of set it off a little bit. You can also see the caster shim that goes between the, the spring and the straight axle. And this aids in alignment. This is, I think, about a three degree caster shim. And uh, it operates like a, well, like a caster, like a furniture caster, helps the front wheels moving forward. Uh, let's see, what else did we do here? Oh, we put some of these uh, U transmission shift rod U, uh, U bushings in here. They're pretty easy to install. You just lift this up and then pop those in there. That helps a little bit. It doesn't take away all the play 
of uh, these long shift rods going back, but it does help. <coughs> so that is pretty much it. Uh, we're gonna prob probably do some other work on this van, but we wanted to make sure that this whole front end was, uh, was taken care of. So I'm gonna cut the video and then come back and I'm gonna show you some of the parts that, uh, that we used along with a few part numbers. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.